Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to animate infographics in PowerPoint 2016. First, let me show you a few basic examples of animated infographics. This one is a simple bar chart that animates like so and can be very effective. This second one is similar to the first one in terms of animation, but a little different way of showing it. This next one is an animated donut or pie chart. And finally, this is a 3D bar chart. All of these are simple animations but can be very effective in your presentations. Okay, so now let me show you how to do this. In the first example, I just inserted a series of rectangles and applied the wipe animation. So go to the insert tab, then shapes, and then choose a rectangle. Then just draw it on the slide like so. And then duplicate the shape using the control key. Like so. Then highlight the first one. And then go to the animation tab. And apply the wipe animation. By default, it applies the effect from bottom under effects. So just leave it as default, and then you can apply the same effect for the second rectangle. In order for them to animate one after the other, you can go to the animation pane, and then for the second element, Just drop this down and choose Start After Previous. Now let's take a quick preview. So that's how that animation works. In the second example, I used the same wipe animation, but I inserted the graphics from the icons section. So once again, go to the Insert tab. And this time go to icons and I'll choose this male graphic icon. I'll increase the size by dragging these handles and then I'll duplicate it using the control key. Next, I cropped the duplicate graphic by using the crop tool right here. And then I changed the color and then just placed it over top of the previous one, like so. I then applied the wipe animation in the animations tab like the previous one and left the effect options as default from bottom. Let's take a quick preview. In the third example I inserted the block arc shape. So once again I went to the insert tab, went to shapes and then shows this one right here the block arc. and just drew it on the slide like so. I'll just adjust it a bit. I then change the orientation like so. And then duplicated it using the control key. Then I rotated it and then change the color. I then selected both, like so, and then group them together by right clicking and then choosing group and then group. 
I then went to the animation tab and this time I chose the wheel animation right here. Under the effect options I left it to default as one spoke. And in this section right here you can control the speed. Let's take a quick preview. And finally for the 3D bar chart, I inserted a 3D cube under shapes. So once again, let me go to the insert tab. And then go to shapes. And that's a cube. And then you just draw it on the slide like so. Let me change the color. And then I'll just change the transparency by right clicking and choosing format shape. Under fill. Just go to 100%. I then duplicated it using the control key. And then I'll change the color to green. And I'll place it over top of the previous one, like so. So it looks like just one bar chart. I'll then go to the slide section, and then I right click the slide and choose duplicate slide. And then on the second duplicated slide, I will just change the size of the bar chart. And then finally, I will apply the morph transition to the duplicated slide under Transitions. You can change the speed right here. And if you take a preview, that's the way it animates. In the last example, I used the Morph Transition and you can check this tutorial to learn more about the Morph Transition. Well, hope this tutorial helps you create animated infographics in presentations. You will find many more PowerPoint tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you found this tutorial useful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.